We're here at Cody Holly, and you did the movie Call Now. Absolutely. Uh, so how did you come up with this kind of concept? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Well, so yeah. Call Now, um, Call Now is a wacky comedy film, you know, all about kind of the mundane task of, you know, a viewer trying to call into a shopping channel and he's trying to get a new vacuum. But the but then I, I decided to take it one step further. I decided to take that mundane task of just trying to, you know, dial the number in and and get the new, uh, you know, the new uh, product at the shopping channel and and turn it into like almost an argument between the screens. So I, I took it up a notch. And yeah. where the idea came from, um, you know, one day I was, uh, you know, it, actually one late night um, when I was, um, you know, with my mother, uh, she, <laughs> I, I walked out, you know, at, at about, 2 a.m. walked you know into the living room and she was she, she was Lots up one of those. um trying to watch you know one of those shopping channels desperately trying to get a a new product whatever it was it doesn't even matter yeah. anymore the, the the funny thing was how um how persistent she was with trying to get this phone number that that kept going you know by too quickly on this program and so she'd <laughs> you know she'd you know leave the room for a second and then she'd hear the phone number she'd have to run back in and boom it would be gone and and i thought that was like i said one of the most like mundane but also the most hilarious things ever and so i said well what can i do with this so i turned it into call now and made it you know you know all about a a host and a viewer and kind of the argument between the the screens if that was possible <laughs> and and how did you go about your casting because uh, the the guys <laughs> They're, Interesting. <laughs> they are really good. I, I'm very proud of my cast. Uh, Gene Connolly, who plays the host, and then John Paul Coulter, who who plays the uh, the viewer. They're both amazing, and I found both of them uh, in the FIFO network of the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania. Um, oh. I'm a part of this filmmaking consortium called FIFO, which is Fade In, Fade Out, and it's you know it's it's all about you know networking and and meeting people within the community of uh lei valley's filmmaking uh, wow. filmmakers um and so yeah i've been with that for a year and i actually i met gene connelly there and then you know gene connelly hooked me up with with john and they're you know they were both great to work with they were great uh you know talented comedians in a way and and they i think they really brought a whole lot to each character you know the with gene doing his like kind of like almost sinister uh you know shopping show stylings uh you know that that he brought and then of course john just you know of course his role was very physical and very non-verbal and he i think really brought that uh, you know that expressive attitude that was needed for the character so yeah, they were both, they're both they're both <laughs> absolutely absolutely but, i love them both so what do you usually like to do like comedy or are you all over the map or What's yeah, no, no, focus? no. Um, it's funny. I started doing thrillers. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, in high school, I made my first ever feature film, and it was an hour-long thriller film called The Gem. And that one I had a lot of fun with, but then I kind of realized within the gem itself, it had a lot of comedy. And I and I've always been interested in in you know making silly little films. Um, I used to do a lot of YouTube skits and sketches mm -hmm. with my friends and you know all all the way up back into uh, elementary school. Um, and then, so I decided to say, you know what, I, I guess, I guess I could, you know, keep doing comedy. So mm -hmm. I, I call now was like one of my, like, you know, first uh, professional comedy films, I'd say. And I'm already writing the next one, which I'm, I'm excited to start work on in a, uh, in, in about a few months. Um, mm -hmm. But I kind of mostly do comedies and that's always what I've loved to do. Are you uh, are you done with college now, or were you are almost done, or, or almost going, almost, or? <laughs> Chris? I got um, I have one more year left. I am a senior at Kutztown University, um, mm -hmm. and and I really love it there. Being a Golden Bear, they have a uh, you know great they they offer great access to you know the the equipment, the resources, and 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 even some great connections. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just about done, and then after that, we'll we'll see. I, I mean, I'm hoping to uh with my degree in film and then i have a minor in business i eventually hope to become a a full-time film and television producer that's my end goal because i really I, I although i enjoy the creative stuff i do actually um get a kick out of you know doing all the behind the scenes business things yeah. and, you know all the things that people don't like people don't <laughs> usually enjoy normal people probably but <laughs> but yeah that's the kind of thing that i want to do and so with my year left i'm 
basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm finishing up all my higher level classes and then I got my uh, senior internship uh, next spring that I'll be doing. Oh, that's cool. That sounds Absolutely. good. Do you have to do like a thesis film at the end or you don't have to do that or? See, the thing is, I really wish we, we, we had to, but no, yeah. we're not required at all. The thing though, that I always tell my friends and I've told even like, you know, since I was a freshman, I used to tell my senior friends, just make just something. Make them, that's, yeah. That's what yeah. I always tell them. Make make films, you know, make movies. That just do what you can because you really should have a reel built up, you know, before yeah. you even graduate. And that's what I've been doing. So I mean, yeah. even though I'm not assigned a thesis, I'm still gonna make a uh, a pretty uh, decent film uh, this this coming year. Great, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's this. So, uh, what's your next one you're working on? You said um, we well, talked about it, but are you gonna uh, a few months? You said, or is it gonna be a feature or a short or? It's so it's gonna be a, a comedy uh it's a it's gonna be a comedy short film. Um this one's gonna have a bit more uh thriller element to it. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of combining my early stuff with the, the the things I do now, you know, that feature mostly comedy, but I, I'm working on a short film. Um and then I'm currently co-writing uh a feature length film. Oh, actually, funny enough, I'm <laughs> should have mentioned this i'm actually co-writing a feature-length version of call now oh. um and uh i know that's one of those ones that I've, I've pitched people about and they're like what are you talking about you can't i mean I, it's cool it's funny and stuff cody but but what, what is it actually about well i like to think that the 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 call now short film in its 10 minutes is kind of the beginning of the film and mm. then i'd have the uh the feature take place afterwards and showcase um like about basically three different storylines. I, I would have um, uh, the the viewer as he's you know trying to track down um, the vacuum cleaner and almost like an adventure type of story. And then I have um, I have Sam the host who's actually getting kind of tired of his regular hosting job and he's kind of going through more of a drama. And then I have the funny bunnies, which are just the comic relief. They're outrageous. They're you know doing crazy things and stuff. You know blowing things up all the, all the wacky things that you'd see in a uh, kind of cartoon i'd say so uh yeah i'm also working on that but that's you know still in the writing mm. process and hopefully that's one of those things that i'll be able to pitch around and and uh you know get sold at some point did you ever see the movie joy at all joy with um a huge cast to that uh, robert de niro and uh what's her name from? i don't know uh it was about uh, the real life of behind the scenes of uh, you know selling stuff on those channels and stuff right right right, right. okay yeah, yeah yeah i've i've heard of that one yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> it's kind of that, was, that was a drama that was a drama yeah. and it was no, real no, no. life that was different oh absolutely but that's i i like those and stuff and and that's why i um i appreciate like i appreciate those types of movies but i also appreciate um kind of the 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 wacky inspirations of my films like I, I i'm really inspired by mel brooks and i love yeah. how um how he takes things that might be serious but and they might have like serious messages to them but um but like kind of like blazing saddles but then they they just throw outrageous stunts in there and, and yeah. wacky little jokes and and that's the type of stuff i like or turn space the star wars into space balls <laughs> yep space balls oh my gosh yeah yeah that's that's also one of my favorites man oh my god and that, that's the yeah. thing the way the way he went about that is is basically just how i want to go about my films where they're where they're just parodies of themselves <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so yeah, yeah. yeah so we're, we'll be playing the film on august 7th uh, we're excited to have the the college set and everything so yeah. Yeah, and I'll be there. I'll be there with my crew. Um, oh. hopefully, I'm I'm hoping to get uh either Gene or John there, but um, definitely my my crew and I are coming down, so we'll we'll be right. there for the for the day. We're very excited to come. Awesome, it's gonna be a nice crowd. <laughs> we usually do like two days, but it's one day, so it's gonna be uh, pretty crazy oh, wow. to have everyone there. All oh, like goodness. you know, like so the the high school college set, and then we have like an award show for the mm. for that, and then we go on to the other films and stuff like that too. So it's uh, wow. but you know, it'll be a lot of people. Oh my goodness! You and your team, man. Props to you guys. Holy we cow! We love doing it. It's, it's <laughs> love doing it, especially in the summer. So I teach during yeah. the year, so I'm off. So I don't care. Oh, I'm wow. off. You know, so. Where do you teach? I teach film right here in New Jersey, right here no in Middletown, New Jersey. So wow, yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. Fantastic. In high school, so film in high school, love it, love it. Cool. I love. Oh, that's awesome. I actually, I've always thought about one day, um, either you know, in a little bit, I'd love to either become a film professor or a film teacher, you know, at a high school. I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to do that. I've always wanted to be a teacher and stuff. And I feel like that would, that would be good. It always looks like it's fun. 
it is a lot of fun. So it's a job that, you know, I got later in life too. So I got, yeah. uh, you know, five years now. So I love it. I can't leave it. <laughs> you know? Fantastic. But, you know, you still, still do film, still work in the industry and all that. Yeah. So it's fun. So I'm trying to do everything. But it's right. steady. It's steady, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. Exa that's well, I know that's the one thing you you can count on because uh, oh yeah, that's what I'm I'm already, you know, doing all these freelance jobs. It's it's you know, feast or yeah. famine. It's every once in a while. So I get that. It's I think it's that's also what I've thought about too. I've I'd love to at one point if I can get a you know a studio job that you know has great benefits, sure, that's one thing. But if not, that's why I also like the idea of a of a you know a teaching job just because it's it's mostly pretty, pretty steady um, and you and secured, I'd say. Absolutely. So with, with your uh, little group out there in Lehigh, are you are you going to work with them again with your next shorts? Is that the plan? Well, I'm, I'm, I am hoping to uh, to work again at some point with Gene and John, um, but I'm also utilizing other uh, great networks, um, even people within the FIFO network. But, you know, there's networks throughout Scranton, um, Philadelphia, and I, I know some great people in New York City now. And, uh, and hopefully no, there'll be a lot of New York people there yeah. uh, on the 7th. So exactly. I, I was about to say, I'm really excited to uh, hopefully meet some great people at Brightside. So mm -hmm. that I think that'll be a perfect opportunity to, to network and hopefully get some uh, get some great talent uh, for the next film of uh, Cody Holly. That's the one thing about the festival. It, it's fun. It's in a bar scenario, but we have two floors of films going on and everyone That's is cool. there. They're all there. So it's it, it's a lot of interacting. And so many times people end up working together. Wow. So many times, so. And then they good. come I'm back excited. with their films. So it's... It's that's yeah. why we love doing it and keep doing it. So, yeah, you know. well, that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm really excited to 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 come to Brightside. Uh, this is gonna be my first uh, film festival outside of Pennsylvania. So I'm. Nice. Oh no, nice. sorry. No, I guess technically I, I I forgot. I, I was in Princeton. Um, no. but this this one's definitely the furthest so far. So yeah. well, so this one's very exciting. I am excited to come. Hey, right across the water from New York City. That's amazing. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's good. I'm excited for that. I might have yeah. to hop on and hop, hop on over. Then we'll see. Yeah, or like really. you walk you walk down a little bit and you can see the city and everything. It's really cool. So <sighs> That's amazing. Statue That's of Liberty is right there. Like you, it's literally right there. Oh really? Oh my so god. Statue of Liberty. Wow. You basically. I mean, you can't walk in the water, but you can. Right. Take a, <laughs> a, the boat is like like a three minute ride right oh, from there god. to there. It's real quick. So it's, okay. The statue Ooh. is right there. So it's pretty cool. I used to work in Jersey City as a teacher years ago and i was able to see the statue out my window so that was really cool until they started well, that's building. you they started wow. building over it so you couldn't see it anymore but i'll never oh. forget like <laughs> look outside yeah there's the statue it's pretty cool <laughs> oh my gosh wow fantastic that's that's wacky that i love that that's good so right now in new jersey we have a lot of films going on a lot it's like coming back a lot of uh, studios are coming is it the same thing in right. pennsylvania as well a lot I of like shows tv movies well, again, I can I can definitely talk up um, uh, the Lehigh Valley. I really do think Lehigh Valley is trying its best to grow, and it is you know especially Bethlehem, where you know they have the Bethlehem Steel Stacks Music Fest, all these yeah. different art and entertainment shows throughout the year. Um, they're really trying to become an like an arts capital of the of the Northeast. So I'm yeah. pretty sure, you know, Pennsylvania definitely has the same. Uh, goals and missions as as jersey because I, I know jersey you know i hear the you know Lionsgate is opening something up netflix yeah. is opening something up so yeah. that that's amazing and i i hope the same thing can happen with uh with um pennsylvania but i know definitely you know philadelphia and pittsburgh they love to focus on broadcast news and journalism um but i really do think you know especially right in the leah valley and sometimes where i'm from which I, i'm from the pocono mountains uh mm. they have a great kind of area for for arts and entertainment to grow and prosper it's 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 beautiful out there i've been out there yeah. i'm like i should make a movie out here it's so nice <laughs> it's, it's beautiful oh my gosh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i i especially i really do like um i i make most of my films now at kutsan university or in the lehigh valley area but um but like my first feature, as I was talking about the gem, um, that was filmed entirely in the Pocono Mountains and mm. Delaware Water Gap, and you know, right alongside the Delaware River, and, you know, um, and that, that was that was it's it's a beautiful place to film, and I, that's why mm. I really think you know if more people can, they should really try to get out here and and uh, you know create some great films. Absolutely.
Yeah. So, anything you want to promote? Anything you got? Anything out there that, like about your feature where people could see it at all or anything? Um, well, I mean, really, what I can say is that you know, if you enjoy what I do, and if you you want to you know kind of see what Call Now is all about, you can go to YouTube.com/slash The Cody Network. That's where I post anything from uh, silly comedy skits to to wacky commentaries and some even uh, crazy films. So yeah, you can check everything I, I do. Uh, you can check out everything I do at the Cody network on youtube.com. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for giving me a few minutes today here and uh, I'll, uh, 